Okay, so this video shows you how to install Windows 7 games on Windows 11, in particular version 22H2, which was released in September 2022. Now, I know a lot of you have had problems installing that. So this guide not only shows you how to install them, but how to overcome the error message you get when installing them. Details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this is the Windows 7 games that come on pre-installed with Windows 7. That is Solitaire, Spider Solitaire, Hearts, Minesweeper, etc. The chess as well. Um, they don't come, or the, the, those particular versions don't come with Windows 11, unfortunately. But thankfully, you can install the older versions. I know a lot of you do like the older versions compared to the, to the new versions. In Windows 11 version 22H2, which was released in September 2022, I know when uh, Windows 11 upgrades to it, it actually removes those games if they were installed on your system prior to the upgrade but never fear it's easy to reinstall them or install them for the first time you do this in exactly the same way whether you're installing them for the first time or whether you're reinstalling them again after an update so what we need to do is we need to go into the internet and we need to go to uh, say any browser but in this case, I'm going to go to Microsoft Edge. So let's just open up Microsoft Edge. As I say, if you're using Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Brave browser, you can use those too. But obviously, I'm using Microsoft Edge because that comes with every version of Windows 11. So once you're in there, I need you to go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle, but the address bar right at the very top. Delete out anything that might be in there and then just type in there win7games.com. That's W for whiskey, I for indigo, N for November, the number seven, G for golf, A for alpha, M for mother, E for echo, S for September, dot Com. Now, if you need to make a note of this, then pause this video and then unpause it once you've written this down and typed it in. So once you've typed in win7games.com, press enter or return on your keyboard. And then if you've typed in the correct address, hopefully you should see this page here. Now, if you scroll down a little way, then we're looking for the download button just down here, which is in green. And when you move your mouse over it, it goes blue. So just move your mouse over that, left click once, and then it will start to download. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection. So just be patient with it, wait until it's downloaded, and then we'll go to the next step. So here we go, my download is nearly completed. I just paused the video there because it was taking a little while. So there you go. Once you see open file there in Edge, then you're okay to, uh, to, to, to then open it. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna close down Edge. So let's click on the cross just up here, just so that we're all following the same method, no matter what browser we're using. And we just go into any yellow folder. So I've got this yellow folder down here, click on that. And then once we've gone into that, we go into downloads and click on that. And then we're looking for Windows 7 games for Windows 10, 11, 8. So just move your mouse over that, right click on it, and then you'll get this uh, menu come up. Go to extract all, left click, and then move your mouse over extract down there, left click. And here we go, it's now extracting them. Now what you're gonna find is, is it should open up the, uh, there you go, the, 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 the actual installation here. So once this has opened up, just move your mouse over that Windows 7 games, underscore four, underscore Windows, underscore 11, underscore 10, underscore eight, dot, 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 and double left click on that. So here we go. So if you get this message here saying, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Windows 7 games, underscore four, underscore Windows, underscore 10, uh, sorry, underscore 11, underscore 10, underscore eight dot XC, then you're okay to move your mouse over yes and left click once. 
select your language here from the list. So I'm going to select English, then I'm going to click OK. This part here might look as though it's not doing anything for a while. Just be patient with it. Something will appear in a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video whilst we're waiting and we'll come back to it in a few seconds because it does take a little while. So here we are, it says welcome to Windows 7 games for Windows 11, 10 and 8 setup. So move your mouse over next, left click once. OK, so we've got all of these selected here. If there's anything we don't want, then we can untick it. Or if we want all of these, then we just move our mouse over install, left click once. OK, so if you get this error message come up saying error opening file for writing, this is typical on the latest version of Windows 11 as of October 22. That's version 22H2. So if you've just updated to that or you've got a computer with that on and you get this error message, then all you've got to do simply is just move your mouse over, ignore, left click once. Don't worry, it will still install. So there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to untick these two items just here, move my mouse over finish, left click once. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this box down here and we should be back to downloads. And what we can do is we can delete these two folders. Now these, this zip folder here and this one here, the ones with Windows 7 games on. So I'm just going to move my mouse over it. Okay. Then left click once and then click on the bin just up there. Move the mouse over the next one, left click once, click on the bin and there you go. That would be taking up space on the computer so might as well delete it. If we need those again we can re-download them. Let's click on the cross just up here to close down the downloads folder and then click on the start button and now let's see if we can find some of the games. So let's just do a search for Solitaire. So I'm just going to type on the keyboard Solitaire as we can see, as I'm typing it, there you go, Solitaire has come up under best match. So if we wanted to put this icon on the desktop so it's easier to get to, then what we can do is, before we click on Solitaire, we can go across here to Open File Location, move your mouse over it, left click once, and then you'll get this box here. And then what we can do is we can copy these onto the desktop. So just move your mouse over it, click and hold the right mouse button, that's the right mouse button, not the left, and just drag it onto the desktop, let go, and you'll get this menu come up on the uh, on the right here or the left. And uh, we've got three options, copy here, move here, or create shortcuts here. Let's do copy, so click on copy. We don't really want to click move because we want to leave the original in the, uh, in the programs folder. So there you go, you can do this with any of them. So say if I wanted to do free cell as well, again, hold down the right mouse button, and that's the button, button on the right hand side of the mouse, drag it across with it held down, let go and move your mouse over copy, left click copy here and there we go. So I'm going to close this down now, so let's just have a look, see if they work. So click, double click on Solitaire and as you will see, there we go, Solitaire back in all its former glory. So there you go, I hope this guide helps and don't forget whilst you're at my YouTube channel I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of topics. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you and maybe even amuse you. So why not have a look around? I hope you liked this video and if you did hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.